Here we are on an outdoor episode of the Bottom Shelf Project. February in Florida, folks, so sorry for all you guys up north. Yeah, sunny 86 today, and we are enjoying the uh, lake out here in my backyard. Today's offering is one that I'm, I'm really actually excited about. Uh, Hellcat Maggie, Irish whiskey. I do like me some Irish whiskey. Um, my first choice is of libations usually scotch, but there are times when I crave a good Irish whiskey. It's got characteristics to it that nothing else quite matches. It's typically smoother and sweeter than American whiskeys and doesn't have that overbearing peaty, salty flavor that scotches do. So there are times yeah. when it's uh, it's really special. This offering, standard 80 proof, was $15 from Total Wine. And now see, Irish whiskey is my go-to. That's my favorite. And I'm excited about this one. I have to admit that I did pick this up primarily because of the label, but uh, not an awful lot about it other than it's uh, from County Luth in Ireland, Okay. and at $15.99, that's, that's a pretty good price point. A little bit of history in the back of the bottle that Hellcat Maggie was a well-known criminal in Manhattan's Five Points District, which we also have Five Points here yeah. in our town, Yeah, we do. and a member of the notorious Dead Rabbits Gang. Dead Rabbits. She was a fierce street fighter and actually... Filed her teeth and nails. Are you <laughs> she actually filed her teeth and nails into points to better shred good. her opponent's skin. Oh, good gravy! If I'd read that prior to buying the bottle, I may have reconsidered. <laughs> so she's Blanca from Street Fighter. I think so. <laughs> okay. All and right. this is her liquor. Yikes! So let's hope it's not going to do that to us. So I'm going to crack this bad boy open. It's not an entirely virgin bottle. I cracked it open to nose it briefly when I first brought it home. I have never witnessed any of it, so this is all new to me. You know what to say about reruns? It's new to me. Uh, and like all fine bottom shelf whiskeys, it is a screw cap. Man. So on not the Not all. Not all. That 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 Ela the or Isla. It was Isla that, that Isla that's a good point. Good. So Some come in tins, cans. <laughs> I still chuckle every time I see that on the bar. Oh my goodness. I mean, you can smell the sweetness. It's, yeah, it's sweet. It, it is candy. Now it's got some legs on it too, and I don't know if that's because it's got a higher sugar content or what, but no age statement, no other information other than the proof. And it lingers, that's, that nose does linger. Mm -hmm. It does have some legs. It's it's a welcoming, almost a floral sweetness. All right, since we're doing Irish whiskey, we're gonna I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. Yes, sir. We're gonna do a toast. If you're gonna cheat, cheat death. If you're gonna steal, make it a young maiden's heart. And if you're gonna drink, drink with friends. Let's give that a shot. It has not aged a lot. Hadn't spent a lot of time in the barrel. No, it's young. Uh, it's got a little bit of, it's robust. It, it, it wants to know, you, it wants to rebel and let you know it's there. Much like its namesake. It's got a little fight to it. Oh, it didn't scratch my eyes out, so. <laughs> Give her another shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what, so it's the second shot that scratches my eyes out. Okay. No, it's good. It's, it's good. Now, it's, it's got I, a little bit of burn to it. Yeah, it's got I would say I would say a little more burn than most than most Irish whiskeys I'm used to. But then again, I oh wow, it's got more burn to it. It's got the ethanol to it. Yeah. I can taste the barrel that it aged in. It may be a young whiskey, but it did impart some. And I said oh wow because after I took the sip, I let it sit for a moment and then I breathed out, lingering there on the palate. Not only sweetness, stone fruit, nectarines. It's really hanging on my tongue. Now, bear in mind, I have a very underdeveloped sense of smell, so I pay more attention to what's on the tongue than I do olfactorily, but I didn't really pick that up. And, I, ah, there it goes. There's that nice, warm yeah, it's, feeling in your chest. It's, uh, it's good. Now, I, I'm like I say, I'm, I'm not sure I would put it up there with my favorite Irish whiskeys because mm. I drink... Fairly expensive Irish whiskey. You but drink some fine Irish whiskeys. <laughs> I can attest to that. Uh, but 
I could see this being, you know, oh, no, dude, if I were in college, I'd have put hurting on this. Uh, college is a long time ago for me, and I could still see putting a hurt on this. Okay, well, fair enough. I am, I am pleasantly surprised by the sweetness behind it. Got a little bit more bite than I expected on that's, the first sip. That's what gets me about it, is the fact that it does have that bite. It, it, it compared to some top, some of the top shelf stuff, like, like for instance, a really good tea lane. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's like silk in a bottle. Butter. Yeah, no, and and I think that's what's throwing me off a little bit. I'm so used to the that level of Irish whiskey and that look so the the bite on it is a little jarring but it's not bad I just if you just said hey here's a try this whiskey and had told me it was an Irish I don't know this is really good <laughs> I was, but yeah no it's good but it, it don't get me wrong it's not bad it's good it's just not my brain has a little disconnect okay, the more I sip on it the more I'm kind of warming to it again in the reference of the price point Oh, for, for, no, no, for that price point, it's unreal. Um, I paid more than that for worse Irish whiskeys. I'm not going to lie. I, I have to admit that compared to some of the more expensive Irish whiskeys I've had, I like this more than Green Spot. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, it's got a little more character than... I think this was been, been a while since I've had Green Spot. I'm not sure I want to attest to that. It's um, been a while. I think I, I this would go toe-to-toe with some of, some of the Tullamore Dews that I've had. The lower Tullamore the, lo- the lowers? The lower shelves. Mm-hmm. You, know, you get them the higher shelf Tullamores, and they're they're good. Um, you know, you get in that 14 to 18 year range Tullamore, they're it's good stuff. But uh, but yeah, I would say straight flat bottom Tullamore. You're going to save some money on this one. I mean, what's Tullamore going for now in bottle? I uh, it depends on what, what type you get. I've seen it range anywhere from the, in the 20s for some of the cheaper types up into the... That cask, the rum one I got, yeah, the that cask. was 25 So $10 difference. To be honest, that one versus this one for $10 difference? You know, if, you're, if, if that $10 is making a difference in your budget, this is a good call. Well... Spoiler. You finished yours. It's a member of the Empty Glass Club for me. It will be for me, too. I'm still trying to savor it. Now, from my perspective, I don't really like to mix Irish whiskeys with anything. I don't either. Sometimes if I'm... Sometimes I'll put some ice in it because it... That's the only thing I'll put in my Irish whiskeys. Because it, maybe a cube of ice, but... Because but, it gets hot here, and you, sometimes you need that little bit of chill. So rather than trying to improve the dram, because I think this is a fine offering in its own right... Mm-hmm. Why don't we do a little comparison? Okay. So, rather than trying to improve the dram, we're just going to compare the dram. And I went and grabbed off my bar my go-to Irish whiskeys, uh, Sexton Single Malt. It's a uh, still not an expensive whiskey. I, it ranges in the in the mid thirties, I believe. And it's a, a a fine Irish whiskey. Pour a little bit of it neat as well. <sighs> Something so satisfying about the sound of a cork coming out. Right off the bat, that's a darker dram. This also is not an age statement whiskey. Oh, you... and I see. That has uh, a. Yeah. 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 That smells a little. I mean, it's not as abrasive. Like, you can smell the difference. Um, that's what I expect out of an Irish whiskey. You still get the sweetness, the wood's not as prominent. It still smells a little smoky. It's uh, not. A, it's not as abrupt. No, it's not as a Hellcat Mac. No, it's not as abrupt. But it is. You can. There, there's a more smoky scent to this one. Here. That one had a sweeter scent. This one is smokier scent. But that one was also harsher. This one is a little more mellow. Which is. Let's give this a little taste. Mm, mm, mm. Nectar of life. Now see, I can tell why that right away. I know why that is your Irish whiskey of choice. Why is that? Because it's smokier than most Irish it, it is. That is a smokier Irish whiskey. It is smokier than most but, Irish whiskeys. And that, I, as soon as I taste it, I'm like, yeah. I, <laughs> the puzzle pieces just came into being. Just came. They just locked in. Now, it, it is not as sweet as that. No, it's Hellcat, not. Hellcat Maggie is a sweeter Irish whiskey. And it is not as smooth as some of the ones I've had from your bar. No, it's not as smooth as like the 18-year Jameson or anything like mm-hmm. that. Um, and it's smokier than those. Yeah. Um, those tend to be very sweet and light. Mm. Mm. Uh, but you know what? It's good. Um, 
Um, but it, it, it is a little bit closer to the scotch in that now reflecting back on it, it has a bit of that resiny, woody, a little, a little smoky, char flavor to it. It does. It's not as floral or fruity as some of the Irish whiskeys are. Yeah. Whereas that, after you get past the initial burn and the preponderance of the wood from it being a it's younger whiskey. It's definitely an Irish whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. So just to refresh my memory, and just because it's been a long day at work. <laughs> put a little splash in mine. Yeah. And, uh... You know, I, was, I almost kind of wish you had given me just these and put the bottles there and asked me to choose blindly which was which. That might have been interesting. Yeah, yeah, right off Except I can see that one, but... Yeah. But however, though, it's not too hard to say that, that you know... This this a little bit lighter colored to me, but, uh... And nosing, comparison nosing. Hyper uppercut! And it, again, this first thing that's, that stands out about this one is just, it's sweet on the nose. Oh, yeah, it's... Right off the top yeah. of that. Smoky. Fruity. Like, it's a much, it's a, it's night and day different. I see, hesitate to say that that's peppery. It has a little bit. Yeah, it, it's just... A, a, just a tad, but... It's a little aggressive, but not so much as to compare it to, like, a, an inexpensive bourbon. But you know what? Now that I went and had this smokier yeah. whiskey, I appreciate this one a little more now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, as do I. The sweetness stands out a little bit more, a little bit more approachable. You know what? I, I We need to try it one more time. With an ice cube in it. That's what I would like. And uh, again, bearing in mind, ice cube and whiskey, some people frown on it, but in this hot climate, because here we are in February, and it's 86 today. Yeah, yeah. give another month, it'll be 95. Yeah, so yeah we, we appreciate it. So uh, we're going to give that one a with shot. With 95% humidity mm. on top of that. Mm. You know, you people in Arizona, 95 is like, you know, that's a cool winter uh -huh. day, but... Uh, I've been to Arizona. It's it's entirely different. You've got no humidity. You, no. you add in the humidity here, and it's... You, here, you put ice in your whiskey, too. Yeah, here, here, 90 degrees is like wearing a wet quilt. Yeah. Uh, I just, I, I just, I have a soft spot for that section, so it, it's it's so good. And I can see why. It's smoky, and because of that, it's actually, for me, it's drinkable. If there were any smokier, I'd... That'd be too much for you. I don't like, I don't like, I don't want to, I don't want to drink and, and feel like I'm standing in front of a grill. <laughs> I don't want, I, if I'm not, if I don't want the, the experience of standing in front of a grill, if I'm not actually going to get something off of the grill. <laughs> Nothing wrong, I, I cannot tell you that you're wrong. Um, I can't even describe exactly why it is that I appreciate that smoke uh, as much as I do, but man, when it's right, it's right. I have to say, I, I'm, all things considered, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this, and now let's, let's try it. Let's try it with some ice. With some ice, yeah. I'm going to grab some ice. Ice, ice. So we've tossed in just a single cube of ice. Give it a moment to uh, mellow and get a little friendly with the whiskey there. Now see, that, right. harsh, that harshness yeah. is gone. Yeah, yeah, right away. It, gone. It, it mellowed it out. Mm, mm, mm. Apparently Maggie's only lively when she's hot. You cool her down a little bit, she doesn't mind snuggling. She's a hell of a girl. Oh yeah. I think I've dated something like that. Yeah. It, it does appreciably change the nose on it. Pogue Mahone, that's good! <laughs> <laughs> um, now we're talking! Right off the bat, one of the biggest changes I notice that Woody element is gone on that first sip and it almost has an oily consistency to it. It's much thicker as you sip it. A little, I, it's, I don't know about much, but to me it was. It was markedly different. Mm. The woodiness is gone. The aggressiveness is gone. You're left with that, that sweet Irish whiskey. And to me, it, I, I, to my impression, it's not just sweet. It, it, it's 
stone fruit sweet. Like like really firm, almost underripe nectarine or peach. Maybe not peach. Nectarine not is more peach. like it. Yeah, I don't want to go peach, but. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's the way to go. Yeah, I could. Yeah, now we're talking. I could. So, so as a final word, not only can, I think both of us put our seal of approval on, on Hellcat Maggie, right. strongly recommend that uh, when you consume it, toss in an ice cube there, too. You know, it, it makes Maggie you know, a lot more approachable. She might or, give you her number. Or just try her like she is, and then... I, uh, long day aside, this, this is going to be something that's a, a multi-empty glass winner. Because I... I I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Oh, well, I'm too. It's it's, it's it not a fight. It, it's not something that I will it. wax poetic over. No, I'm not going to write love letters to it, and I, and it's not going to take the place of even my Jameson's on my my bar. But it's good, and for that price point, for 15 bucks, for our our first Irish whiskey, I think this is a, a for 15 success. bucks and a cube of ice. That's hard to beat. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's if you are. If you do differ from us in a little bit in the fact that uh, you would like to make a mixer out of this, and I, I'm sure it would work fine in a lot of different cocktails. Like a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Irish coffee, man, I'm telling you. Um, I think she, I think, I think Maggie might get, you know, she's a little aggressive when you heat her up. Uh, I put her in the coffee. But this is another fine example in the fact that bottom shelf doesn't mean cheap. It's true. You it's know, inexpensive. We've, other than a few things we've tried, um, like the Malort, the Southern Comfort, the that, peach whiskey, the peach moonshine thing. We've we've had some good luck, um, and that's so. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to test. It may not go completely toe to toe with some of the really high end offerings. It can't. But it, it can't go toe to toe with the high end offerings. Um, but that does not mean it's not worthwhile. It does not mean it's not worthwhile, and it does not mean it doesn't have a place on your bar. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had to, you know, a lot of things I cook with will call for whiskeys or bourbons or something of that nature. And a lot of times, I don't want to use the good stuff. That's a great whiskey to have on my bar to cook with or to put in a coffee, which where it's going to have to fight with a really strong flavor. That might even be better, because now I might actually get a little more... That's whiskey that, flavor out of it. As a non-coffee drinker, that actually makes a lot of sense to me. So sometimes when you put, I put a Jameson in there or something, I can tell that it's got alcohol in it. Um, but I also, I also drink uh, the kind of coffee where you put your spoon in it and the spoon doesn't fall over. It stands straight up. And <laughs> Manly coffee. Yeah, I, I like some coffee that has some... Uh, some strength. Strong like bull. But um, something like that might actually stand up in some of my coffees. It might actually be good. Just saying. Yeah, uh, that makes perfect I'm sense old. to me. I'll have to put it to the test. So there you have it. Hellcat Maggie. Two thumbs up. Strong endorsement. Hayuken!